so hello everyone today we are going to discuss the problem playing in a casino which is asked in code forces round 861 so let's read the problem statement so in this game there is a deck that consists of n cards each card has m numbers written on it each of the n players receive exactly one card from the deck right and there are all players play with each other in pairs each player of the players plays exactly once right and each of these games determine uh, the winner in some way but the rules are quite complicated so uh, in this we only uh, have to calculate the uh, calculate how many chips are paid out of to the winner so that uh, the criteria for this the winner of the game gets ai minus bi plus a2 minus b2 uh, modulus chips from the total pot so <coughs> Uh, it's uh, so calculate the total uh, calculate the winners total winning of for all games right so we have to calculate the total number of uh, total number of uh, chips the win, uh, finally the winners can winners can collect right so let's understand this properly so in this question basically we have been uh, having n and m and so and denote the uh, and the players and m denote the number of number of cards they have right so basically we have in let us say we have in four players one two three four and they have in the four coins four cards right so they play in such a way right they play one first play with second for one play with third one play with fourth and second play with third second play with fourth and third play with fourth so in total there are total uh, so there are total six games so basically we can say for any given uh, a number of players n number of players total uh, there are total n into n minus 1 n into n minus 1 total n into n minus 1 divided by two games in total for a given number of n n players right so so in this problem this should be given we have been given n players and m card card so we have to tell uh, let us say okay, this should be this is player one and this is player two so he having a1 a2 a3 right and he having b1 b2 b3 cards so the winner can get so the winner can get a1 minus b1 mod plus plus a2 minus b2 plus a3 minus b3 chips right and we have to calculate the winner so a uh, winner of every game so the total chips all the winners can get right we have to simply calculate this so the basic approach uh, to solve this problem right we uh, is that we are we try we are try we are trying to traverse o for like uh, the like we have in the inputs in this one there are three players let's say and there are four games we have in three players and total four games so right so for this we solve for this uh, and this for second we have to solve for three so uh, where we, we traverse along this uh, for every row till n minus one and check for all the values along this matrix so in total we have to traverse n uh, rows into n into m the whole matrix right so the time complexity is n square m so this is quite uh, big uh, uh, 
so in this complexity we can't handle the test cases so that's why we have to try for something different approach so basically let's uh, uh, let's see one example so the, then we can clear the approach so we are right so so i write the uh, first example which it tells uh, there are total three players and having five cards right total three players and having five cards. so when we are trying to calculate for the first player uh, let us say we are we are now we are only focusing on this first uh, value so for the first value the player get one minus seven plus one minus three so this script me six plus two eight so the this row gives me eight and then similarly when we check for this row we get some result with uh, which is four minus nine five plus four minus four eight nine so for every row we can check the score when uh, so when we check for the whole row, so when we check for this row, so we calculate the uh, first player, uh, how many points the first player can get in their match, in his matches. So first with second and first with third, right? So, so the basic approach is like uh, when we having the rings, in this form right there are n players and m cards so we traverse along the every column we traverse for every column we check for this column this column let us say this we check for this column and this column right we check for all the values along this column this column so we have to traverse uh, for m times right we have to check for every column we have to check for every column and we calculate the sum so uh, the now the problem uh, converted into a sub problems two sub problems one is we have to uh, we have to traverse around the array uh, in m ways m times m times and for uh, let us say we having this row so we having n Totally, we have n number of uh, n number of values, n number of values. So in this, in these n number of values, let us say we have the n number of values. Zero, one, two, three. So we have to uh, we have to check the uh, every uh, we have to check for the all possible pairs difference absolute different right we have to zero for one zero for two zero for three similarly one for three one for two similarly two for three so all possible pairs all possible distinct pairs this should be clear in the problem statement all distinct pair all possible distinct pair right so we have to calculate for this and we traverse m times so we summed up all we found the answer right so this is the intuition that we uh, divide this into two problems like we have to traverse m times in column wise and uh, we take a single column as a as a set of values and uh, check uh, the absolute difference of all distinct possible pairs right so to check all possible pairs of it of distinct values so let's uh, take an arbitrary array so we have in two, three, one, eight, right? So for checking there, <coughs> for for checking this uh, array's absolute difference, first we calculate this. So so two can be three, two minus three plus two minus one plus two minus eight. So this gives me one plus one plus six eight, and now we check for three. 3 with 1 and 3 with 8 so 3 minus 1 plus 3 minus 8 
so this gives me seven right and we check for one and eight so this gives me seven so we when we summed up all these all gives me seven plus seven plus eight gives me twenty two so let's found how can we uh, find the uh, this uh, inefficient way right if we try for uh, run a loop then in nested loop to check for all possible pairs then this also increases the time complexity as uh, so we can't enter the test cases right so we have to check for the intuition uh, how we can solve this problem to be check uh, for all possible distinct pairs they are absolute difference right so <clears throat> this is the arbitrary array the values are not sorted so that's why we have to um, uh, we know we are checking for absolute difference absolute value so in this uh, arbitrary array we can't say that this up to this index this gives me positive and this gives me negative so let's sort this first so when we sort the array the array looks like 1 2 3 and 8 right and how can we check uh, so and right so now we know when i subtract one from the all uh, this gives me some better measures right so when i am in this index i know all the values uh, right to this index are greater than this so i can store the uh, sum <coughs> using a prefix array so I make a prefix array so in the prefix array I got 1, 3, 4 and 12 right so I know from uh, this index all the values are uh, that are right to this index are greater than this so that's why I make a prefix array so when I make a prefix array how can I store uh, when I used one in one uh, when I use one I know I can get a sum of one plus this is one and say one plus two plus seven right this gives me ten so to calculate this uh, we use this prefix array so we know uh, the total total sum of this is twelve right and uh, when we uh, uh, when we are in the first index we know we can perform how many uh, games this and this right so we can perform three games so we have to subtract um, uh, the value three times right because we can play uh, we can play uh, three times so on this I know I have to subtract one three times so I have to subtract one three times one three 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 this gives me three so this is six oh so this is six and this is fourteen right so I know this is 14 the final array and I know I have to subtract I use one three times because I played three games with this so I know uh, three plus six plus four minus three into one because one uh, we have played three games with this one right so minus three into one is here and uh, three is one uh, you got three into one and the value because I can't take in this value because I am taking only this sum up to this so so this sum is 14 minus 1 and I using 3 3 times so this gives me 3 into 1 so the generalized idea to using the distinct possible um, the sum of the distinct possible pair is that we make a prefix array we make a prefix array, right? 
and we store the sum or we store the final sum we store the final sum right we store the final sum and uh, when we are at any given index we know all the values that are right to it are greater than this so we use this sum so from this sum we have to uh, subtract how many times the number should play games when we are at first index first index we can play three games so for first this should be three and for second this should be two so we can say we can only play n minus one n minus i games when we are at any ith index so we can play only n minus i games from the end so i have to just subtract the value at this index from the sum from this sum so the this gives me the all the answers or the uh, this all the sum of the all distinct pairs all possible distinct pairs so i use this so i use this along for every column and sum the all sum the all and finally return the answer right so let's uh, check the code which will give you a better understanding so yeah so let's open the code so basically i take n and m and store in a vector uh, i comma j and i uh, create an answer which store the answer for the uh, answer of all the uh, all the uh, winners score right and then i uh, uh, traverse along the matrix in column wise right so that's why i have written m here because i am traversing along the column for every column so uh, when i I store this in a then I store this uh, every column in a temp and sum summed up means we know we have to calculate the sum of the column right so that's why I have created a sum variable which is initialized with zero then we calculate the final sum and I uh, create a cut which is initially zero and then I sort the temp right because we know when we sort we know the all the values right to that index is greater than this uh, the given value right so then i uh, traverse along the same column same um, yeah same column and then uh, do the sum in cur so when i reach at any given index i neglect the sum total sum minus the current sum because i only need uh, a segment sum of all the values greater than that index so this is stored in sum minus car and just i subtract how many games the given index can play right so that's why i uh, do n minus 1 minus j into tan j so and i take the absolute value of that because we have been taking the we have to take the absolute value so finally the, this should be the answer and i have to just print the answer so i hope the problem should be clear to you all so thank you.